What up, what up, tribe? How you guys doing? This is Ladies Night Season 1, Episode... What episode are we on? 8? <clears throat> excuse me, 7, excuse me, Episode 7. So look, I am all over the place with... I, I'm all over the place with this. And my comments, people back and forth. I had some people saying I was standing for salt and pepper and 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 also and I'm like if you look at all my reviews you will see that the first couple of episodes I was 100% with spin but then the more information you get and the more you learn you have a different opinion I'm not saying that spin is 100% wrong I'm just saying I'm starting to see both sides of this coin whereas before I was sort of like 90% spin 10% salt and pepper now this episode is pulling me a little bit back to a spin side cuz again you getting some different information so the episode starts off with the night of their grand opening of their residency. A couple of weeks ago, we saw the soft opening. So this is like the actual formal opening with all the everybody there and everything like that. And they have um, not talked to Spin since the whole conversation they had about going on the talk. They hadn't talked to Spin, so they didn't really know what was going on with Spin or how she was feeling or, or how the whole situation was going to play out. Um, Spin is in her dressing room, you know, getting ready for the show and everything. And um, Taj comes through, brings her little gift, and you know, you know, she said it's a really big night. And remember, her and Taj were friends outside of the show; they've been friends for years. And so Taj was like, you know, I know this is a big night for you. I'm just coming to look out, you know, see how you're feeling. And so they proceeded to have a conversation, and she let Taj know kind of how things have been going and what happened with the talk and why she wasn't on the talk. And she said, you know. When you guys do a show, is there ever a situation where they don't want all three? And she was like, no, because we're a group. It's three of us. Like, we have a lead singer, but there's going to always be three seats. And again, it goes back to how Spin... This really boils down to how Spin sees herself in a group and how Salt and Pepper sees Spin in a group. Spin sees herself as an equal member of the group. Salt and Pepper sees her as they are the group. She's an add-on. They do not see her as an equal part of this group. And that's really where the, bo the, the, the breakdown is. And I don't think they're going to ever agree. Um, and that's probably why they're in the situation that they're in now where they're no longer working together. Um, so they have the show. The show goes off great. Um, um, SWV came to the show and they were all, you know, into it. They were doing a little dance moves from What a Man and all of that. And it was a great show. By all accounts, the show went really well. They worked everything out with the union. They didn't have any sound issues. They didn't have any transition issues. It was a great show. They definitely have put a lot of work in from the soft opening and gotten it together. So afterwards, the ladies are all, you know, SWB comes backstage and they're congratulating the ladies and everything. And they're all excited about their trip to the Cayman Islands. And, oh, you know, they can't wait to go. Everybody's excited. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to the Cayman Islands. Um... Pep was like, I'm ready to go now. She was like, you better not get started without me because SWV is going down a day early and then Salt and Pepper are coming down the next day. And Salt was like, I can I can use this vacation. I can't wait. And again, I'm going to go back to what I said a couple of uh, reviews ago. I really think this boils down to their management overbooked them. And I really think this boils down to this show, the idea, the concept, there were certain things that were included in this show that they were obligated to try to do, and they just ran out of steam. And I really think that's what it boils down to. However, things could have been handled better because this idea, this trip was Pep's idea. But if you think that I think that Pep planned this trip and they get down to the Cayman and this this beautiful home, this beautiful house on the water, but they've got a private beach and a private dock and a private pool and they got all this stuff and this. It's a beautiful house and it's beautiful. Like I would love to have gone to the Caymans and stayed somewhere like this. But if y'all think that I think Pep booked all of that and then didn't show up, come on now. Um, the ladies get there and they're, you know, they're ready to work on the song. They're ready to have their vacation. They're ready to enjoy their, enjoy their time. And Taj kind of lets the girls know what's going on with Salt, Pep, and Spin and the kind of attention that's going on, what, you know, Spin had kind of told her about, things with the group. And of course they were like, hell no, nah, that would never happen over here. You know, that ain't how we roll. But you know, from the outside looking in, you see things a certain way. But when you work with somebody day to day, it's, it's not always what it seems. You know, things ain't always what they seem sometimes. So the next day rolls around and Spin shows up. But guess who doesn't come? Salt nor pepper. And 
here comes a call from Jimmy, their manager, telling them the ladies aren't going to make it. Now, here's my problem. What that says to me is y'all saw this as a business obligation. Because if this was really, truly a girl's trip, we're going on vacation, we're going to hang out and do our thug thizzle and, and, and do the girls thing, then you would have called them as a, as a friend and said, y'all, I can't make it. Now, we saw this in two sides. The first side, we saw Jimmy calling them saying the girls aren't going to make it. And so what that said to me was, if you have your manager calling me, that's a business move which means you saw this as a business obligation, not a personal obligation. Because if you saw it as a personal obligation, the call would have come from you. You would have called me and said, girl, this, that, and the other went down. I'm not going to make the trip. But when the manager calls, that's business. That's what that says to me. So Spin didn't even know. Mind you, Spin is there. She didn't show up at the Caymans. Nobody told her salt and pepper wasn't coming. So once again, They've made a decision that she's not a part of. Now, the flip side, they show Salt and Pepper having a conversation. Both of them, based on what they showed us, independently decided they weren't going to the Caymans and kind of thought the other person was still going to go. And it was funny because this is how you know when Salt really be serious about stuff because she calls Pep Sandy. She says, Sandy, this was your trip. You're not going? And she's Pep talking about some her neck is hurting and this, that, and the other was happening and that and the other happening. Salt was saying that she had to go home because she had some things going on with her son. Her son's not taking a divorce very well. And there's some situation, you know, she didn't really want to get into it on camera, which is her business. And I understand. But something was going on with her son and she had to go back to New York. I get it. And that's when Salt realized, well, wait a minute. Nobody actually called the girls like Jimmy called. So she did take it upon herself at that point to call the ladies and tell them, she did make a personal phone call to all of them and apologize and tell them what was happening. But at that point, it was sort of too little too late because Jimmy had already called and y'all had already not shown up. Like this was like a day later or something like that because Sandy was like, mean, not Sandy, sorry. Salt was like, she thought Pep was already in the Caymans and Pep said she thought Salt was in the Caymans. See, neither one of y'all really wanted to go and y'all thought the other person would sort of represent the group and then both of y'all bowed out. But then... Come to find out, Pep went to the club. So the ladies were like, oh, so you found your way to the club, but you couldn't find your way to the Caymans. And again, this was Pep's idea. Like, she was the one that said, let's go to the Caymans. Let's take this trip. Like, that was her idea. So the girls are feeling really, really, really neglected. I mean, dejected, neglected, pissed off, disrespected. You know, they're like, look, I had other, you know, especially Coco. Coco was like, I had other things I could be doing. Like, I'm in the middle of this divorce that y'all keep reminding me about. She said, and I find it very interesting that when I was in my A, it was a problem. But now they can do what they want to do, and it's all good. So, you know, they end up making the best of it because Spin is like, look, at the end of the day, we entertainers. So let's just enjoy ourselves and have a great vacation, and we'll deal with that on the back end. And they do. I mean, of course, they feel some kind of way. They are not happy about it at all, at all. But they do. They end up having a really good time, honey. They were sitting at the that the hot tub. That dad on Lily jumped in the pool, honey. And that wig came when she came up, and that wig was floating next to her. I was no good, honey. I was no good. Do you hear me? But anyway, but they had a good time. It was all in fun, and they were laughing and everything, and. When they got back to, when Spin got, you know, and of course, they decided, that was when they de they made the decision, they were going to go on tour with Tony Braxton. They were like, screw this, we're not even going, they, they said, we were supposed to do some dates in Australia, but why bother? Like, they clearly don't respect us, they clearly don't respect what we bring to the table, so why would we sacrifice a tour with Tony Braxton to deal with this flakiness? Like, we're not going to do it. And so they took the tour with uh, Salt and Pepper, I mean, with um, Tony Braxton, and they're done with this whole ladies' night thing. They still, I think, are open to doing the song. Um, they did listen to the beat that the producer sent them, but they weren't really feeling it. It's not what they wanted. It wasn't kind of the vibe they were looking for. So the song looks like it's probably not even going to really happen at this point. Um, Spin and Taj have a conversation. And what seems what it seems to happen is that Spin's thing is, I'm used to this. Like, this is what I deal with from them. This is what I get from them on a regular basis. I know this is new for y'all, um, but this is what I get. You know, this is how, basically, this is how I'm treated. 
So they get back to New York and Salt, Spin, and Pep sit down and have a conversation. And basically, Spin is like, look, the ladies feel some kind of way. Like, I'm used to how y'all treat me, but they not used to it. And they feel in some kind of way. And y'all really need to talk to them about how y'all feel. You know, and they were like, well, it wasn't done intentional. Shit happens. And they were very, to me, they were very dismissive of it. They weren't apologetic at all. They weren't sorry at all. They were very like, I mean, well, you know, even in Pet was like, shit happens. People make mistakes. We're human. And Salt was like, well, I did call. Yeah, you called, but you weren't the first call. You should, we should have heard from you before we heard from Jimmy. And I, I just feel like they don't get it. Like they, I was really disappointed in how they acted. I was really disappointed in how they carried the situation because I feel like they just didn't understand how that made SWV feel and how bad it kind of was. And even their attitude about it was just so dismissive. Like, it's like, I don't even think you understand how... how bad that made them look like to me it really made me look at them sideways because they were just so dismissive of it so then the conversation once again veered into salt pepper spinderella land and spin was basically pleading her case again and what spin is coming from is saying spin seems to feel like they were not successful before her and that's not true and like pep said hot cool vicious went platinum before you even joined the group because again and like people want to keep giving me in my comments a history lesson on salt and pepper i got the history of salt and pepper i've been there i've been a fan of salt and pepper since hot cool vicious i know when you look at the album cover of hot cool vicious it's the old dj spinderella i know that i got it i keep telling y'all been there done that been there from the beginning and they were successful before this Spinderella joined the group. I understand it's a different spelling of the name. I got it. I got all of that. And so Salt and Pepper's thing is, because she used the word, when I joined, we flourished. And Pep's thing is, whoa, 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 whoa. We were flourishing before. Now, did they reach a different height and, you know, have crossover hits with In Vogue and do all these other things? I mean, that was before Push It, which is their signature song. Like, yes, all of that is true. But I think with what, Spin is trying to say is I joined the group and that was I was a part of the group at the height of your success. Yes, you were already a group, established group and successful before I got there, but y'all hadn't hit that pinnacle. When you hit the pinnacle, I was there. And I feel like I you don't respect me as being a part of the group at that pinnacle. Their thing is it doesn't matter where we went we were already an established group together and you came along afterwards. So again, I say, it's just a matter of how they look at it and they're never going to, I don't think they're ever going to see, I don't think they're ever going to come to a meeting of the mind on this. I just I just don't think they are. And Salt said, at that point, Salt was like, I tell you what, I'm shutting this conversation down right now because if not, I'm going to end up saying something that's not going to be pretty, that's not going to be cute. So let's just go ahead and end this right here. Um, and let's just let's just take a five. And um, that's pretty much where the episode ended. And I think that this is gonna get uglier from there. Like I think this is about to go, ooh, which is why I feel like we ended up where we ended up with them no longer working together. So we will see how it plays out, ladies. It's only I say ladies, ladies and gentlemen. It's only, I think they said two more episodes, and this is over because I don't know where else they can go with this because. They're not doing the tour. They're not doing the music. Like, I don't know where else they're going with this for the next two episodes. But other than look like Salt, Salt Pepper, Spinderella going to be arguing on the next episode. And it looks like it gets real deep on the next episode. So we'll see how it works out, y'all. But y'all let me know what y'all think, which I know y'all will because y'all be giving it to me in the comments, honey. Y'all be going at it in them comments. But let me know how you feel. And we will talk about it in them comments. Peace.